like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of WWE Raw, the week commencing the 26th of February. So it starts with Rhea Ripley coming out. She didn't really get, get her words in edgeways. Then Becky basically comes out. Um, they go back and forth. Um, Becky does congratulate uh, Rhea over her victory. And she's going to lose at Mania. Before she said could do anything, J uh, Nia Jax comes out and turns into a brawl. Then we go to Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a great match. Go and watch it. I haven't seen it. But in the end, Sami Zayn actually gets the victory. So congratulations to him. Then we have Chelsea Green versus Raquel. Chelsea Green was talking a bit of trash before the fight. And then Raquel came and basically squashed her. So that's that. Then Sami Zayn basically says after the match that he's he wants to prove himself as a, as a contender. Um, no matter what, he wants to prove that he's a top level athlete and a top level wrestler. As he says that, Gunther walks past him and laughs at him. So we, that might be the match. That might be the match. Then you have Cody saying he wants to face The Rock at some point. And he also says he's going to face Grayson Waller and teach him a lesson, basically. Then we have Gunther coming out, says... He's worked hard to make the Intercontinental Championship the most relevant title in the WWE. And he doesn't even know who he's going to face at WrestleMania. He just drops some names. He drops Sami Zayn. He drops The Miz. He drops R-Truth. And basically, the Judgment Day come out and they call out Gunther and said they want that title. More and more specifically, Dominic Mysterio says he wants that title. Then it turns into a bit of a pushing match. Then we have Dominic walking to the back and he has a conversation with Andrade. Um, there used to be sort of co co uh, colleagues, I should say. And then Dryda saying to Dominic, he's trying to work out who his first match is going to be against. It may be Dominic. Then we have the New Day versus the Imperium in a street fight. Really good match. Well, fight, I should say. Go and watch it. There was tables. There was chairs. There was no ladders, but there's tables and chairs involved. But in the end, the Imperium get the victory. Then we have Chad Gable basically saying he wants to face Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship and he believes he has to do this for his family. So we will see. Then we have Zoe Starks and Shayna Baszler versus Candice and Indy in a great match. Go and watch it. But in the end, Shayna and Zoe got the victory. Then we have R Truth, The Miz, and DIY in the back. They're basically trying to cheer up The Miz. Uh, R Truth, sorry, because I don't know if he's not, he's not feeling too good. They're talking about being about the regeneration. <laughs> Not the generation X, regeneration. That'd be quite interesting. We'll see. Then we have Drew come out. Basically says he's injured after the chamber match. He's not, he's not doing well. He's got a burst eardrum, but he's not CM Punk. And he will uh, face Seth in the main event at WrestleMania. Then Seth comes out. Seth, Drew basically tells Seth, stay out of judgment, Dave. Stay out of, sorry, bloodline business. Leave it to Cody and them to sort out. because It's going to cost them. Uh, their match at Wrestlemania and basically Seth goes he can't do that he's got to take the risk and he has to take down the bloodline before Wrestlemania we will see then we have Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan in a great match but it didn't get finished because it was a DQ because Becky Lynch attacked Nia Jax then we have Jay Uso basically saying he won't stop he's going to keep pushing he's had setbacks from fans from family from wrestlers but he's going to keep pushing uh, Drew basically pulls up on him and says you deserve everything you get <laughs> Then in the main event, it's Grayson Waller versus Cody Rhodes in a great match. Go and watch if you haven't seen it. But in the end, coming now, Cody Rhodes gets the victory. And then after that, Paul Heyman basically tells Cody Rhodes to not challenge The Rock and withdraw that statement. We'll see what happens.